Hey, I'm Eric Tomato, and welcome back to Let's Play X-Men Origins Wolverine. Wolverine first appeared in The Incredible Hulk, number 180, November 1974. Now, let's get to the... By the way, he originally didn't have um, adamantium claws. He had um, blades that popped out of his gloves. <clears throat> anyway. Go, go, go! Uh, we've just been adamantiumized. I had a... Um, conversation with a friend of mine, uh, Pe Pedro, uh, you may know him from the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean review, review, Let's Play, um, he, I, I told him I was going to be, ooh, ooh, I got skill points, sweet, I told him I was going to be uh, Let's Playing this game, and he said, but, but that's a good game, okay, yeah, uh, when I told him, it was like, but, those, uh, but, but that's a good game. And I said, and my response was, well, I know, I'm tired of playing bad games. Like, a bad film, like like I do on Mindbreakers, a bad film is fine. You just sit down and you watch it. A bad game, you have to put in. Like a bad film's like an hour and a half, two hours at most. Bad game is some upwards of ten hours, and you actually have to. In be engaged in it. You can't possibly play a video game. <laughs> Unless it's a turn-based combat. Unless it's a turn-based RPG, am I right? <laughs> Character menu, yada yada yada. I'm gonna put some, get some skills. I think, whatever, don't care. Health. And rage. Excellent. Next, uh, next batch of points are gonna go into that's indestructible. Next batch of points are going to be going into claw damage. Command, we've made contact with weapon X outside the I do have a set pl um, plan of what I level up in what order. Um, physical stats, basically the health, rage, and claw damage are my priorities. Then I start upgrading individual attacks. So our current mission is basically escape from um, this facility. Ooh! To, to escape from the Weapon X facility. Items that you see being yellow are uh, destructible for rage points. And HP, but we don't need those right now. And spin! Ooh, your arm's off. Floor work. Okay, what do we have in here? Elite Commando? Oh, got a machete. Two of them. Ooh. We were genetically engineered to kill guys like you. Bob, I'm one of a kind. Bob, get out of my way. Is this. Attention all squads. Yeah. The experiment in augmentation lab. One, two, die. There we go. Really? That was genetically engineered to kill me? That's pathetic. I like the line from a film when, um... Sandra Kelly, well, not Sandra Kelly, William Stryker's talking to, uh, the general on how to ki on, uh, if it's possible to stop Wolverine. And, uh, William Stryker's, oh, we, we, uh, of course we can kill him. Um, the general's like, you just spent half a billion, half a million dollars making him into, half a billion dollars making him indestructible. Here we go up. Logan, this is Colonel Stryker. 
You mind explaining what in blazes you're doing? Escaping. You've killed my man. Yes, I have. And damaged some very expensive equipment. Yep. You're out of control, son. Stand down immediately. Got some audio logs here. Pushing forward with assembling my squad of mutants. Yeah. High command is dubious, but they're willing to let me run with it for a few more months. What the hell is going Once on? They see the team is this some action, kind of drill? I'm sure I'll have their full confidence. Along that line, I just received word of two brothers who are mutants. Both have regenerative yeah. powers, and one of them has retractable bone claws. Unfortunately, they're hot tempered. One of them killed a commanding officer. But there's potential here. So I'm going to see if they can be of use. That would be about us and him creating the, uh, the Weapon X team. Whoop. I happen to know of one more adamantiumized um, mutants. One of them is, I mean, she's not supposed to be a mutant, but in the film, Lady Deathstrike. Uh, he's very obscure, but the character Cyber, at least his epidermis with adamantium. Um, Weapon 11 in this game and film. We don't like to talk about him. Dead? Is everyone dead? Everyone's dead. One thing that would uh, work as a smoke grenade for Wolverine, I've realized, is um, uh, it'd have to be some kind of smoke bomb that generates a high-pitched noise to block his uh, heightened hearing, and emits a very strong smell so it can deal with his uh, sense of smell as well. Ooh, nice. And, uh, regroup here. What the hell? Why? What is the purpose of these? Anyway, let's um, upgrade our claw damage. There we go. Because doing more extra damage is important to me. Dead. What's this? Can't break it? Okay. Door opens. Woo! Audio log. I didn't hear any of that. What? <laughs> Was that even a work log? What's in here? 
Ooh, dog tag. I'll take that. Thank you. Was that a work log or did I, have I lost my mind? Did they shoot my work log? They shot the work log. There it is. There we are. Authorized by Captain William Stryker. Greetings, Senator Kelly. And to what do I owe this visit? The project I've been put in charge of is in need of additional test material. I was wondering if we might be able to make a trade. I see. And what do you have in exchange for some of my test material? I can give you the location of a school that's a training ground for young mutants. Intriguing, Senator. Very intriguing. I tell you what. Give me the location of this school. And if it turns out to be everything you say, then we'll have a deal. Hey, look at that. What? All oh. civilians in this second log. Captain Another William audio log. Hey. Our top scientific minds would have us believe that the appearance of Homo Superior is little more than an aberration. <laughs> but what if they're wrong? What if the number of mutants continues to increase? And what if they become even more powerful? To the point where they determine we're no longer necessary. The incident with the team in Africa has shown me that mutants are incapable of being trusted. We humans must take steps to protect ourselves. That doesn't look good. You're not here alive. I think you got me confused with you, bub. Why did that go all slow motion? That was- Whoa! Uh, power cell. Weapon X. Yo. I mean Logan. There's not much time. You were injected with a poison while you were in the adamantium tank. Why? I can help you, but first you have to come to my lab. I'll unlock a door for you. And be careful. They've sent ghost squads. Security status. What the hell was that all about? We've been injected with something. Oh, hello. It's a ghost. I'm assuming it's not an you undead spectral creature. I'm assuming it just has cloaking device and is a sniper. Hoo <laughs> Fun. Your friends used too much cologne. Activating cloak now. Oh, that's not gonna work on me. Um, one thing you can't do to these guys, unfortunately, you, you can't. Uh... Ooh. What about you? You want a little? <sighs> Who wants some? You, hey. Frickin' blender power. I can smell ya. Boom, baby. Pal, you got big trouble. In Little China. Now where are you? Where's the lot where's the other one? There you are. How many of you are left? There we go. If I can't see, I can smell you. Got any more audio logs? Ah, yeah, here's one. Dr. Abraham Cornelius. We are now activating test subject 23 of the Wendigo prototype series. Oh dear. I have reason to believe the serum will be a success <laughs> due to a new combination in the nucleotide subunits. If all goes well... We've got a health boost in the mutagen thing. Meeting surveillance. 
Authorized by Captain William Stryker. Dr. Cornelius, what do you make of this new applicant? Dr. Carol Frost. She's certainly bright enough. Graduated in the top 1% of her class. She passed her physical and psychological tests. But... But... What else we got? Level up! Okay, what should I put points in? Keep all of that. Do I have any mutant? No. Okay, good. Okay, where's there you are? Come here. Yeah, I just got you. Now, if we put this here, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Buzzsaw power! Activate! Your head came off. Sorry. Out of the way. Ooh, dear. There's another one. Dutch oh, shit! <laughs> ow, ow. Not go well. Well, under time. Okay, so same basic th principle as the Leviathans from last video, except um, these guys don't have an armoring themselves up ability. So they're honestly a bit easier. Cut. See? Come on. Nope. There we go. Dead. Groovy. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get the audio log. Wrong button. Okay. It seems to be like dead set on me not having any idea what's being said in audio logs. Which is bad, because I, I like audio logs. World building. What's the situation in augmentation lab three? But there are soldiers that went in haven't reported it back. Let's try again because it keeps interrupting it. Ooh, that's not good. This is not a pleasant room. Try this. Four o'clock, Dr. Abraham Cornelius. I find the concept of the Windigo program to be ingenious. Here's one scenario. Enemy prisoners are injected with the serum without their knowledge. Then they are returned to the enemy as part of a prisoner exchange. Over time, some of these soldiers are bound to return to the duty. Then... During the first adrenaline rush of battle, they transform into mindless animals who attack their own troops. <laughs> oh, it's genius. Simply genius. 
Let's see what this actually says. Work log, Dr. Abraham Cornelius. The serum is called Weaponized Experiment Neurodendritic Incident Gamma Zero, or Windigo for short. It's an amazing substance that once injected will allow a meek human to transform into a raging beast. It lies dormant in the bloodstream of the carrier until it's activated by a massive dose of adrenaline. This is currently accomplished through the use of extreme fright or pain to the test subjects. The creature the carrier becomes is incredibly strong and nearly impervious to pain. It's also consumed by the need to kill all that it sees. Huh. Uh, Wendigo is originally a in American legend about turning into a monster when you eat people. Are you there, Logan? Can you hear me? Yep. Uh, who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Carol Frost, and I work for Dr. Cornelius. I think I can help you. What's happening to me? Ugh. As an insurance policy against you escaping, Stryker had you injected with a bioenzyme. It just activated and destroyed your regeneration and feral senses. Why? I can repair the damage, but you must meet me in my lab north of here. And why should I trust you? Because if you don't, you'll die. Fair enough. Uh, we've lost. We no longer have regeneration powers. Personal log, Captain William Stryker. The mission to Angola was a success. The indigenous personnel were reluctant to reveal the location of the mineral. But in the end, we got what we came for. There was some collateral damage. A military advisor paid the ultimate price in service to her country. Also, a team member left due to combat fatigue. He'll be kept under surveillance for possible activation at a later date. So we don't have regeneration or healing power, so we're going through the vents. Get into position! Everyone's on! Those are Double shaky. Target. We've lost Weapon X's location. location. Get ready. Keep your distance from them. military personnel are to report to the Check in. We've lost Weapon X's location. Find a covered position! Move it! What's in there that's got everyone so spooked? Something named Weapon X. Supposed to be a real badass. Supposed to be. I am a real badass. Attention. Additional support staff is needed in the Weapon 11 lab. Power cell. I don't like this part of the game because the concept is stupid. It's just a level extension ploy. Like, hey, your power, uh, your powers are gone for a bit. Sorry. Get him back so we can make the game a bit longer. You are needed in the Except, seeing as how we lost our regeneration, the um, our claws should be leaving permanent wound like holes in our hands because they cut through our flesh each time. This is pretty simple block, yeah, very simple block puzzle, All where been down and you lock the door control. with a block. So you, so even if the power's all going to go into it, the door doesn't completely close. Surprised him, but it doesn't. So in the sector four we go. Why am I singing that this is not a Gremlins game? I play one that was not that good. Attention, Ooh, the sector is under Personal log, Captain William Stryker. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. A man was brought in today who could instantly teleport from one location to another. Imagine the military potential of this ability. And what if there are others with even greater powers? A strike force composed of mutants could accomplish missions that no human squad could even hope to attempt. That would be John Wraith. Attention. Where 
Hey, Bob. You're dead now. Attention. All non-military personnel in this sector. Evacuate to the Alkali Lake compound immediately. Over there. Over dog tags. Some, someone's dog tags. Checkpoint. Oh, cutscene. Oh, so you're my guardian angel, huh? I simply want to help. Wait! You don't understand! I want to stop the atrocities they're committing here! And I'm starting with you! What's that do? It will deactivate the bioenzyme. Alright. Do it. You're safe now. If you go to the biomechanics lab, I'll repair your healing ability. Why can't you do it all at once? Right, make the level. Hey, Doc. If this turns out to be a trap, I will hunt you down. Then I have nothing to worry about. I brought your things. The things? Yep. Ross interception. Yep. Hey, it's a pun. Ah, right. oh, there, our things. Clothes. Yep. Ooh, work log. Weapon. Captain William Stryker. I just read the surveillance reports on former members of Team X. It breaks my heart to see what depths these men have sunk into. Wraith is running a gym. Dukes has an eating disorder and Bradley works at a carnival. Perhaps the most pitiful of all is Logan. He had such potential. And now it's all going to waste while he hides in the wilderness. And another work log is over here. Surveillance. Authorized by Dr. Abraham Cornelius. Adamantium. Are you certain such a metal even exists? It's extremely rare, but yes. Dr. McLean's notes were quite Oops. clear. Oops. Bonding that metal to bone must be painful. Very much so. But more importantly, the process damages all the surrounding tissue. Sounds like it would kill a normal man. Indeed it would. But who says we need to use a normal man? Our first mutagen. <laughs> Super pay. Rampage 1. Increase your maximum rage. It's the only one we've got, so you may as well equip it. Boom. Let's continue. <sighs> Quite a stealth move, too. More plugs. Personal log. Dr. Abraham Cornelius. How can they expect me to complete my work when my hands are tied by so many rules and regulations? I'm on the verge of a revolutionary breakthrough, and they're worried about human rights. Well, the test subjects are not humans. They're mutants. Legally, they have no rights. Nice little call. Very Dr. Mingla. No, I am not saying that's a good thing, but he does sound a lot like Andrew Ryan, I realized. Yeah. The scientists should not be limited by. Hold up, I saw something in there. Oh, joy. It's nothing, just a portable turret. I don't know. Weapon X has got you seeing things. Let's get the hell out of here. I should probably call this in. Okay, ready? Nope. 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 Aha! Uh -huh. Contact central. Boom. Personal log. First entry. Dr. Carol Frost. I hadn't realized how large the Weapon X facility was when I first interviewed here. They gave me a tour today, and I discovered that 90% of it's underground. The place is huge. 
The people here are very skilled, and the equipment is top of the line. Some of it I didn't even know existed. I also met Captain Stryker for the first time. Unlike Dr. Cornelius, who's always struck me as a bit of a cold fish, Captain Stryker seems to genuinely care about what we're doing and how our work can benefit mankind. <laughs> Oh, balls. <laughs> yeah, as as we don't have our healing factor, turrets can take us down in freaking no time flat. It's a little annoying. I think I missed a step there. Oh, that is not good at all. I have like no HP. Military personnel in this sector evacuate to the Alkali Lake compound immediately. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> right, forgot. And then we follow it. Boom. supposed to do we should have there we go go through here but I think weapon X might be in this area there we go okay stay alert just in case this part is a little stressful hi hope you enjoyed that video this was played recorded and edited by me Merrick D'Amato the art was by Ann Rogers and I hope to see you all in the next video ciao